Many players are finishing the leveling grind to 60 and are now looking for the best way to increase their watermark score. I'm Spooky Pops and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show the best watermark farm for those who are fresh 60s and I will briefly explain watermarks so everyone knows how important they are. Let's get into it. Farming watermarks requires an elite named mob to drop gear, and the spot I am going to show you has gotten a lot of attention on Reddit from a YouTuber named That Yee Guy. Shout out to him for highlighting this elite mob. If you are curious about the in-depth details about this farm, I will post a link to his video down below. The farm is located in Southern Eating Grove right below the blighted fast travel point. You'll have to follow the road all the way to the peak of the summit where there is an elite mob named Adrojan sitting inside a structure. Note that this area is a landmark so you'll have to place a camp farther away. You can arrive to the the farm from the front of the structure, or you can do what I am doing here and go around the side to jump up at a specific point. By doing this, I avoid some archers that hurt quite a bit. There are several reasons why this farm is so good. First, you can do this as a solo player, although it is probably better if you bring along a friend or get together in a group. Second, the respawn timer on this elite is insanely low. He respawns within 90 seconds and he is easy to kill. Third, the gear that he drops potentially has a gear score of up to 562. He not only drops gear, but also drops some legendary crafting materials. There are also two elite chest within the temple for easy access about every hour. In short, this farm offers a fast increase to your watermark score and offers many high-end materials. If you are a fresh level 60 and have a watermark score of 500, you definitely should go here. Honestly, anyone who has a gear score of 500 to 520 could benefit from this farm. Although I am planning on making a more detailed video about watermarks and their purpose, let's give the TLDR. Each player has their own unique watermark score that begins around 500. The watermark is associated with the maximum gear score a player can receive. For example, if my watermark is 525, I can only receive up to 525 gear score gear from chests or mobs. To increase the watermark, elite mobs can drop gear that is higher than your current watermark score, thus increasing the maximum gear score from chests or normal mobs. It is important to note that each piece of armor and each unique weapon is associated with its own watermark. For example, I can have a specific watermark score of 540 for the musket and 565 for the hatchet. If this brief overview doesn't satisfy your curiosity, look up watermarks here on YouTube and I'm sure there is a good detailed guide. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below how this farm is going for you. Until next time, Spooky Pops out.